wanted to uh, talk about what what you should do. Uh, what could you do when you actually buy a truck? Let me turn off the engine. There you go. Uh, what when you actually buy a truck? What to do? What's the next thing that you should be doing uh, to make sure you're staying um, on the road without any issues? And actually, before you actually uh, start doing any work with it, with it, um, what are the, the items that you should have uh, looked at and um, uh, what maintenance you should do. So I'll take it back to the office. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier just to write it down on the whiteboard and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, let's jump in quickly into the uh, three things that are important for you to uh, address immediately after purchasing a truck. Uh, so hopefully you picked up the truck that you're about to buy. Uh, you have it um, picked out and you now are incorporated, which is also an important aspect for you to um, consider, is uh, getting incorporated, incorporated because if you're, uh, if you're about to expose yourself to a lot of risk and liability, you want to make sure that you're, you, you're covered and picking the uh, right legal structure will not only help you with that and protect you, but also will help you with uh, taxes down the road. So number one, registration. Um, the way you can get a truck registered is going to be either uh, you're buying from a dealer, they will uh, help you get your driveway permit and that will help you get you home or you will um, buy from a, par a private party and that for that you were gonna have to uh, pull a permit from the state, the Secretary of State, to be able to drive it home. Um, laws vary from state to state, so make sure to dig in, call or visit the website uh, to see what are the requirements the state uh, wants you to do uh, f to follow to be able to get a permit for a commercial vehicle. Some states don't uh, issue commercial vehicle permits, so you will have to uh, dig in and see which state, um, uh, what requirements they have, and do they have actually issue permits for uh, commercial vehicle vehicles. Number, number two would be insurance. Uh, you definitely do not want to drive without insurance, so non-trucking liability and physical damage, those are the two uh, coverages that you want to have on you. Non-trucking liability is in case you get into an accident uh, not under dispatch or um, just going from you know A to B in your truck uh, bobtail you're gonna hit somebody get into an accident and somebody's gonna hit you. Um, that insurance will protect you um, and your physical damage covers the truck just like your regular car. So in order to do that, you can look out um, and create a relationship like I've mentioned in Before You Buy a Truck video to, to start a relationship with an office or an agency that helps trucking businesses with uh, plates, insurance, accounting even. Uh, find a place like that and start a relationship before you buy the truck so when you actually do pull the trigger, you can call them up like, hey, could you uh, find me coverage for my truck? Um, definitely a relationship uh, good to have um, with an agency uh, that will down the road help you with 20 to 90 IFTA all those things should you not um, want to do it yourself number three maintenance so when you if you didn't have the truck uh, pre-inspected uh, inspected before you bought it uh, at the shop then you definitely want to do it when you come back with the truck, have them pull it in and run thoroughly through the truck to make you a list of things that need need, need to be addressed immediately. And again, a relationship with an independent shop, something to think about and start um, as, as soon as you can to help you to establish that trust and relationship. Hey, this is what we think the truck needs done. Here's the list. And um, there are a few things that I usually recommend um, and I do when buying a used truck. So number one, definitely uh, do a full PM on it. Just dump all the fluids, oil change, uh, diff, a power divider, 
um, coolant if you have to, but drop the fluids and see if you can find any uh, evidence of unusual wear. So metal pieces and oil or anything that the mechanic will be like, the, you know, let's dig in a little deeper, see what's happening there. Um, grease the truck th thoroughly make sure you hit all the grease fittings uh cab filters air filters uh engine air fil filter cab filter those are very low ticket items inexpensive inexpensive things um pulleys uh belts tensioners those are if you if they're looking like they need to be replaced just replace them again it's not uh, that a big of a cost center bearing make sure you address that and look at that because for myself i've learned a, a lesson the hard way when i neglected the center bearing and then down the road pulling loads uh, a month or two it just gave out and caused a lot more damage with cutting uh, air hoses uh, electrical and just creating a lot more damage and expenses for me and it's not really that expensive part to to replace if you do it ahead of time um, the more money you budget for maintenance and things to do after you purchase the truck, the better and the more confident you're going to go into the first day of work and will save you stress. Also talk to your mechanics, learn as much as you can about your truck that will help you save down the road additional expenses with simple fixes that the shops will charge you. It will definitely keep money in your pocket if you actually um, can do those things yourself so that's pretty much it uh, registration insurance and maintenance um, those are the things that you should immediately address after buying a truck thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't watch out for more videos and drive safe